Integration by parts is a powerful tool. Let's see how we're going to use that one to do, uh, derive this integration parts here. So we're going to start with that we're going to let u equal to a natural log of x. The reason we do this one is because du is equal to 1 over x. This one will actually take a power of that one off. So the goal is that you want it to be uh, power going downward, not upward. Okay, so dv is equal to this, so v is equal to x cubed over 3. Okay, so, so far, so good. And then the rule says you go uv, which is, is what I wrote diagonally. Now, you notice I put a du and dv on the same line. This way, I can keep track of it, and it's easier for me to remember it's uv, which is natural log of x times x cubed over 3 minus v du. Okay, v and du. So all I have is two lines, okay, v, uv minus v du. So du is here, which is dx, 1 over x, times x third over 3. Okay, now you see why I use the u equal to natural log of x, because from here, I have this power going downward. As a matter of fact, let's do that. Okay, this becomes squared. So this term doesn't change natural log of x. x cube over 3 minus what I have over here, I have a 1 third, let's drag it out. So I have a dx over here, and then I have x squared. Okay, this term is pretty easy. This one becomes x cubed over 3. One more, t one more time, then we're done. Natural log of x, x cubed over 3, minus 3 times 3 on the bottom is 1 over 9, and then I have x cubed on there. If you want, you can put a constant there to be a consistent. Alright, hope this helps and have a confident day.